Hello and welcome, Leo. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Leos, what we will do here, we will look into your life in sections, for want of a better word. We will firstly look at the overall energy for the month of April for your very sign. Uh, before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, maybe there's some healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April 2023 for the very sign of Leo. Are you ready? With no further ado, let's dive right in here. Let's look at the overall energy for your very sign. And hmm, the energy is understanding that while you are a strong personality and you know obviously you you, you, you are Leo so you are depicted by a strong animal and because the depiction of Leo is a male lion which means he walks his perimeter mostly on his own um, you normally don't need other people you kind of go like yeah I'm gonna figure this out right so once you know where you're going you keep going which is actually a, a good strong positive thing that Leo has going for it for for it if that makes sense but here the over energy of April tells you wouldn't it be easier to have someone else there with me therefore reach out in April 2023 to other people share your worries share your your thoughts if that makes sense right reach out a little don't be the lone wolf even though lion would be more appropriate right you understand that so the point is, while you have all the strengths you need to create your life all by your lonesome, <laughs> you don't have to, right? The the depiction of your of your energy for your um, overall energy has the number has a number three. I don't know if you can see that, and three is the number of progression, and it's about doing things with your with your life, planting seeds. That goes somewhere, but why do it alone? That is the over energy for Leos for the for the months of April 2023. So let's look at your emotional core, Leos. Let's see what is happening. And it's good because when it comes to your emotional core, you have not only have you got rebirth, uh, but you also have the number 27. So two and seven is nine. Nine is the number of completion. Now the interesting thing is when it comes to starting over is that the energy is depicted as Pluto. And Pluto is the outermost planet and it takes Pluto 248 years to orbit the Sun. And the orbit of Pluto is very erratic. So normally any, any, any planet that is on our ecliptic spends a specific amount of time in each sign. And Pluto doesn't. He is so, so erratic in his movement that he can spend between 18 and 30 months in, in a sign. And it's hard to grasp, if that makes sense, um, what he's up to. <laughs> so the point, the point here is that, that the emotional core is about, yeah, let's start over, let's do things. Really, really powerful, um, which is all good. But you have to understand that when you sway, when you let the ball drop, and not pay attention to where things could be going. That could be a problem. So what you're asked is to be very focused on what it is you really want. So if you want to bring a relationship to the next level, you know, you obviously have to be Leo and you and you state your case, right? Um, and be the chaser, if, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you, is understanding that um, rebirth is coming. So you are starting over. If there's any healing that needs to happen, it is going to happen. It's already in the flow. So you will be happier because you're releasing things and you also manifest better. So that is perfect. Um, but Pluto is a slowpoke. <laughs> and all they're saying to you is, remember, you decide on the pace. And what I'm hearing for you is when it comes to being fulfilled in relationships, speed up. The, the chase and speed up the, the pace, right? Be more proactive, um, right? But again, cross-pollinate. It's, it's about understanding, you know, I leave my, 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 my seeds here. I'm going to say, like, yeah, that's what I would like to achieve and then see for the other parties to come back, if that makes sense. So it's going to be interactive 
if that makes sense. But um, being outspoken certainly will not uh, will not uh, um, be a bad thing this very month, dear Leos. Okay, so now let's look at your opportunities as the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April. Now, the interesting thing is here is that opportunities in the month of April for the sign of Leo are not super abundant. And what you are being asked is to reflect on your home life, right? So with opportunities, in order for you to manifest opportunities, in order for you to, to do certain things, you have to first figure out, am I in the right place? Am I in a place from where or from which to manifest a new life? If that makes sense. Because what I'm getting strongly here with opportunities, and again, this is a general reading, it might not resonate with all of you, but the energy here is about saying, again, has to do with your sign, the way the depiction works and the way my guides show me things. The lion walks his perimeter and he follows the wildebeest, right? As it were. And as the wildebeest moves, he's trying to move with it. But his territory ultimately is limited. He can't just follow the wildebeest and always have food. <clears throat> And that is quite a normal thing for everybody in life. Not everything is sustainable. But in your case, it's about figuring out, is the location right for me? And what I'm getting strongly when it comes to opportunities, and again, take it or leave it, I'm getting a change in location, and it could even be abroad. So maybe it is the location that doesn't work for you. Right? Look into, can I do what, I, what I'm good at? In another place would that allow me to, to become um, a different person because I have a different algorithm to my life that sort of thing so that's what I'm getting for you Leos that was your April 2023 general reading you are watching Thomas's Tower readings please like subscribe and share and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next month bye bye